All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here. Hopefully you watched that last video on high rep training for biceps. Today, we're just gonna do high rep training for triceps. So if you, if you're, maybe if your joints are a little beat up or if you just wanna try something different, you can grow with higher reps, just the same as you can with lower reps. There's a couple things you gotta consider in terms of going to failure and exercise selection and resting between sets, but you can absolutely grow using a little bit of higher rep counts on your sets. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. Higher reps for triceps for growth. Okay, here we go on triceps. First exercise is a normal rope push down. Now I like to drive the rope kind of straight down instead of back to me, just to keep a little more tension on the triceps. Um, I'm taking them down, I'm locking them out today, just flexing really hard. So two sets of 25 here. Now we just finished biceps. So we really only did one warm up set before we did this because having done biceps, there's already a lot of blood in there and literally just one set, you can feel the blood moving from the bicep all the way around to the back of the tricep very quickly. And the same thing would have happened if we did triceps first and then did biceps. So that's the nice thing about doing your buys after tries or tries after buys is uh, the second one, <laughs> it won't take long to warm up. So two sets of 25 to get us started. Okay, so the second exercise is, are those crucifix extensions. I think that's what we all agreed to call them. I absolutely love those, man, those feel good. Um, try to keep your arm parallel and some people like to keep the cable in front of them sometimes people keep the cable behind them just play around and figure out what's right for you where do you feel the most in your triceps you should feel in the long head down there at the bottom on the inner head but uh, 25 reps there phenomenal exercise um, started doing these uh, he was in March with my buddy Austin in his garage he showed me these and so I'm trying to keep up with them and keep remembering to do them because it's an awesome exercise. So that is exercise number two. Higher rep training is effective uh, as long as you take the sets really close, if not to failure. All right, just the, the simple science of this is if you use a light weight, you're only going to get so much activation, so many muscle fibers, they're going to produce force. Because you're not really pushing your body that hard to produce that much force. But uh, as you continue to do reps though, You'll uh, notice, obviously, fatigue sets in. So more muscle fibers are caught into play. So you get more activation and so forth and so forth. And the closer you get to failure, the more you get to, closer you get to full activation. And uh, that's just a basic concept that, you know, when people say lightweight is just as good as heavyweight. Well, yes and no. It can be if you're going closer to failure because you've got to get full activation. You've got to load every muscle fiber and you gotta exhaust them. If it was just a matter of going heavy, we could just do sets of triples and we would all look massive, but you also have to fatigue, fatigue muscle fibers too. So anyways, I just wanted to mention that. So lightweights are awesome or else I wouldn't be doing this video, but the sets need to be much closer to failure, which means much more painful in some instances. Like, like the, the workout now is extremely painful because of the burning. You, if you can't work through the burn, you can't work through the pain, Forget light, lighter weights, forget it, it's not for you because you want to stop your sets way before you get the benefit out of them. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so these, I call them a tricep dumbbell kickouts. All it is is a lying extension, except you don't go behind your head, you drop the dumbbell to your shoulder and you get a really good stretch. That's all it is, just think lying extension, um, but don't go behind your head. I just call them kickouts because you're just kicking the weight up. But these are very, very difficult. They feel really, really good though, especially at this phase in a workout where we've already done a couple exercises. So I hit failure probably around 21 or 22. So honestly, my last two were really sloppy. But um, two sets of 25 here. Your triceps should be mega pumped right now. Okay, ooh, we finished with diamond push-ups. Old school body weight exercise. Hey, sometimes body weight exercises are absolutely phenomenal. I love body weight exercises. 25 on this was really, really tough. I was trying to really use my triceps and not press with my chest. Um, but honestly, at this point in the workout, these are really, really hard. So great finisher, real good for the medial part of your tricep. That's the thick part down by your elbow. So see if you can get two sets of 25 on this one. All right, that's it um, for triceps. There's your eight sets of 25. There's your 200 reps. You should have a mega pump and you could do what we did, which we did the bicep workout, which you already saw, and then the tricep workout. Actually, you know what you can do if you want, if your triceps are more of a priority, 
do this tricep workout and then go into the bicep workout. Whichever one you think needs more work, do first. 